Today I'm flying a Citation 5 and I'd like to show you the uh, generator checks that we do, which is the first check right after engine start. We always check the generators to make sure that they're functioning correctly. And uh, I'm just going to talk my way through it here to save a little bit of time when the engines are running. This is the uh, cluster of gauges that, that shows the uh, amps and volts. And right after engine start, uh, we should see that both generators uh, are producing power on the amp, amp uh, gauges. So we'll see uh, about uh, maybe 50 amps a piece or 60, 70 amps, something like that, um, out of each generator. And um, we'll show about 28 volts on the voltmeter. And the way that we check the uh, in generators individually is to shut down one generator. And when I say shut it down, what we're really doing is we're opening the power relay. So this explanation might make a little bit more sense if you open up the electrical diagram for a Citation 5. And uh, this is the same, essentially the same electrical system or layout of the system as uh, a, a 2, a 5, an Ultra, an Encore. They're all pretty much the same, just the gauges are in slightly different spots. But um, we're, when we turn the generator switch to off, we're opening the power relay on that side. So the generator is still producing electricity, but we're just kind of disconnecting it from the rest of the electrical system, basically. And um, the first thing we want to see is that the, the amp meter on that side that we opened up drops to zero. The other amp meter shows a rise, meaning that the the generator that's still connected is carrying the load. And um, then we're going to use the spring-loaded voltage selector switch to, to measure the side that we shut off. So what we're doing there is the, the system is measuring the highest voltage from whatever point we're selecting. And if we select like the left-hand generator, the, the voltmeter is measuring from a point between the generator and the power relay. So we're measuring the voltage that uh, is coming off of the generator, generator that we've isolated. And we want to make sure that we see 28 volts there to show that the generator is spinning along, generating the voltage that it should. Um, and then um, we can reconnect it to the system by turning the generator switch back on, meaning closing the power relay. And at that point, we'll see that the, the ammeter needles should equalize and balance within 10% of each other. So the load should be balanced within 10%. And then we'll turn the other generator switch off, meaning we're opening the power relay on that side. We're going to measure the voltage coming off of that specific generator. And then um, we will uh, make sure that that's 28 volts. Uh, turn that generator back on, meaning we're closing the power relay because really the generator's been on the whole time. It's just been disconnected with that power relay. And uh, we'll see that the ammeters show that the load balances within 10% of each other and uh, continue the flight at that point. So that's how we check to make sure that both generators are functioning normally is by isolating them, uh, verifying that they're putting out 28 volts, and then um, turning them back online or uh, getting them both parallel with each other. So we'll uh, show you that here in a second after I get the engine started. We've started the engines, and as I said earlier, this is actually the very first check we do before really anything else after engine start. But uh, I've got every all the systems up and running on the airplane. I've got the avionics on now just in order to record better audio for you um, so that uh, I can feed audio into the camera. But uh, you see that we have... Uh, a load on each generator. This would normally be a little bit higher if it was right after engine start. Um, and uh, both generators are producing an output right now. So the way we check the generators is I'm going to turn one off. It doesn't really matter which. I'll do the left side generator. We see that that drops to zero. The right side picks up the load. Then I'm going to take the spring-loaded switch and read 28 volts on the voltmeter. So that's um, showing that the left-hand generator even when it's isolated back there, we're, we're measuring voltage right at the generator it is putting out 28 volts. We put that back to the center position. We 
turn on that generator and we'll see it come online and we see that the generators parallel and uh, balance the load within 10% of each other. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right side. We turn that off. We see it drop to zero, meaning that it's isolated. We've opened that power relay. The left-hand generator has picked up the load, so the GCUs are doing their job. We measure the voltage on the right-hand side, so that generator we've isolated is putting out 28 volts. We're getting a, a true reading off of that now. And then back to the middle position for the volt uh, voltage selector. Now we'll turn on the right-hand generator. We see it come back online. We've connected that power relay and the generators uh, parallel each other within 10%. So that all checks good. That's the way it's supposed to be and we can move on to any other after-start checks now.